Hey everyone, it's Intel here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I decided to buy and use a fake gaming mouse for Bedwars so I could see how good it was. The fake gaming mouse I bought was a clone of the Logitech G502, and of course I had to buy the actual Logitech G502 so I could compare it against. I do want to say before I start the video that if you guys like my content and you want to help support me as a content creator, then you can check out my Lunar Client cosmetics at the link in the description below. I have a whole bunch of cloaks and bandanas that you guys can check out, and every purchase does help me make videos like this one. So if you want to help support me and you want a nice looking Lunar cosmetic, then check the link in the description. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So if you guys didn't know, the Logitech G502 is one of the most purchased gaming mice of all time. It first released in February of 2014, and it has been one of Logitech's most successful gaming products of all time. It's no wonder that there are tons of fakes of this gaming mouse that exist that you can easily find on places like AliExpress. The fake that I found was on AliExpress, and I don't have the link for it because they actually took it down after I recorded this video. But I bought it for $20, which is half of the price of the Logitech G502, which is currently $40. After both of the mice shipped, you could immediately tell the difference between them just looking at the box alone. The box of the fake G502 had red accents on them compared to the blue accents on the box of the real G502. What's even more funny is that the G logo is actually reversed on the fake Logitech G502 box. After unboxing each mice, the biggest noticeable difference was the reverse G logo on the fake Logitech G502. I assume they did this because of some copyright reason that would prevent them from being sued or something, I'm not too sure, but it's still hilarious nonetheless. Aside from that, to an untrue trained eye, they actually do look very similar to each other. So with the unboxing out of the way, let's go ahead and see how they perform in-game, shall we? Alright, we are in our first game of Bedwars right now, and I'm using the Logitech G502, not the fake one yet, because I want to get my thoughts on the real one before I move on to the fake. The first thing that really stood out to me when I tried the G502 was just how heavy it was. This mouse is an actual brick, especially when coming from a mouse like the Superlight, which I think is like half the weight of this mouse. It's actually crazy. So aiming with this mouse does feel like a little bit weird just because of like how like heavy it is, but I think you can get used to that pretty fast. Oh, it does mean that my aim like really does not shake a lot, especially when I click on this mouse, just because it's so heavy. Even when jitter clicking, I basically have like no shake. I'm definitely not all that used to it, but I think I will get more used to it as time goes on. Okay, we have one aqua person who's over here who's gonna come and fight me. I'm pretty low on HP. Hopefully they build up to me first. Oh, actually, it looks like white is probably gonna go for them regardless. Let's see if I can just jump down right here and hopefully knock that guy into the void. Nice. I just have this white person right Right here. Let's try and get a few hits. Oh my god, can I actually take this 2v1? Nah, so close, man. Another thing that I actually really like about this mouse is how bouncy the buttons are. Like, jitter clicking on this mouse is basically effortless. The, the clicks feel really nice. Hi, white team. I'm gonna go ahead and build up. Looks like they fireball jumped over me, but that's fine. They're not gonna be able to break my bed defense in time just yet, I don't think. Okay, I was wrong. They had shears. Jitter clicking does feel really nice on this mouse, but like, one thing that's Sorta holds the experience back is just like how many buttons there are. And it's really annoying actually because there's two buttons right next to the left click that makes the left click super narrow. So it's like, it's very difficult to fit more than two fingers on it. I've tried butterfly clicking on this mouse and it's like actually impossible because like the, it, it's just really, really difficult with how little space that you have on the left click. Everything else aside though, this is just like a super average gaming mouse. Like the shape is just an ergonomic shape that I think everyone is used to at this point. It's no surprise to me why this mouse is one of the most popular gaming mice to like ever exist because it's just like very average and it's like very easy for a lot of people to use. Okay, let's go ahead and get a pearl and some pots. Uh, I think we're looking good right now. Let's see, we have three other people left in the lobby besides myself. Who do I want to go for first? I guess I'll go for blue. Oh, looks like there's already fight going on right here. Let's see if I can interfere. Oh my god, wait, there's also someone else over there. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up. I can clean this fight. You're dead white. And then blue is right here. Uh, hopefully I can take them out. Actually, they are pretty geared right now. Let's go ahead and gap. Hi, blue. I'm gonna get some free hits on you. Oh, I got this guy on the run now. He is so afraid of the G502. I think now is a good time to pot up. Unless this guy, yeah, okay, never mind. This guy's just gonna run back. Uh, I can go for his base in the meantime, though. Let's go ahead and snag that. I am a little worried about blue possibly having some, like, invis potions or something. Although, I do have a pearl, so need be, I can use my pearl to escape. 
Um, hello, Blue. This guy's gonna run. My pots are about to finish. Go ahead, just smack white out of the way so we can just take care of Blue. Oh, this dude's stuck in a block. Yo, this guy's so dead. Come on, man. You can't keep running forever right now. Okay, you gotta fight me. You are so dead right here, nice. Honestly, for Minecraft PvP, the G502 really isn't that bad of a mouse. Like, I can like play pretty well with it, and that's like, I can't say that about a lot of other mice. Oh, I just deflected that fireball right into White's face. Okay, nice. One other like really cool feature about this mouse, by the way, is the infinite scroll wheel. So if I press this button and I start scrolling, you can see my hotbar. My hotbar is just going crazy right now, dude. Okay, we got some potions and I am properly equipped to handle White right now. Go ahead and block that up so we can get some nice combos on him. Yo, what's up, bro? Where are you gonna go? I'm gonna throw a fireball. Okay, doesn't really matter. You can go that way. I'll just go for your base. Hello, looks like you came to die. Uh, that was a good choice. I say that because now white can respawn at their base and actually defend it when I push for it. Hello, white team. Looks like this guy's just stacking up. That's not gonna do much when I have jump boost, my boy. When I have jump boost, I can go way higher than you right now. Ooh, nice. Okay, I just gotta fight this person one more time. Maybe I can actually, like, punch them into the void. They don't have enchants, so I don't think it would be, like, that hard. Oh my god, getting a pretty nuts combo right now. Oh, keep getting those hits! Oh, this guy can't touch me! Oh my, what was that combo? That was pretty sick. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about that, White. GG. Looks like he actually leveled from that game, too. Level 334, let's go. He said, yo, be honest. You reach? <gasps> All right, we are in our second game of Bedwars, and this time I am using the fake Logitech G502. So I guess I'll start off with the similarities between the real and the fake one. Uh, the biggest similarity is the shape. The shape between both mice are pretty much identical. That's sort of where the similarities end though, because these mice are very different from each other. The first thing that really annoyed me when I got the fake G502 was actually the cable that's on it. So the cable on this mouse is super short, and it's very annoying because my PC isn't even that far away from like my setup, but like it's just so short like basically getting my pc to my mouse pad pretty much took like all of my mouse space okay hi white hopefully i can take you out right here and take your bed oh my god these combos with the fake g5 or two are sort of going crazy let's go ahead snag that bed only gotta kill you one more time here i think their spawn pro is out let's start with a crit they got a double hit on me got a double hit on them back just one more crit nice good stuff probably the biggest difference gameplay wise between the real and the fake one is the sensor that's on the fake g502 so the sensor that's on this mouse has a very low pulling rate. I don't know like what it is exactly, but like moving the mouse around just feels like way more stuttery than moving the G502 around. The G502 basically has like a perfect sensor on it, but the sensor on this mouse just feels like very stuttery in comparison. It still is accurate though, and I'll give it that. Like I still feel confident enough with my aim to like actually fight people. It's just that it's like very stuttery when aiming. Hello, great team. I am going to go ahead and try to take you out. Ooh, get a nice combo right there. Nice nice. Can I get this guy's bed in time? Uh, I actually think I have to fight him one more time or else he's like gonna kill me before I try to like actually break his bed. Nice. Snag that. Only gotta kill this guy one more time. I'm half HP but I do have absorption hearts and I do have better armor so I think I can take you out. Nice. One thing that's actually really funny about this mouse is that on the regular G502 there are two buttons that are to the left of the left click and this mouse it looks like it has those same two buttons but they don't actually click like they're not buttons. They're just pieces of plastic. Speaking of the buttons on this mouse, uh, the buttons are pretty light and they're pretty spammy. Like jitter clicking on this mouse is still just about as effortless as jitter clicking on the regular Logitech G502. The clicks do feel like a little more plasticky though. And like overall the build quality of this mouse is just like much more plasticky feeling. This mouse does not double click by the way. Uh, same with the regular G502. Both of these mice don't double click. So like you can't really butterfly click. I mean, you don't have the, the space to even butterfly click on the left click. So there's no real point. I mean, overall this mouse can just basically be summarized as a worse version of the G502, but like, it's still usable. It's actually like not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, it looks like we got two teams left. We got yellow team over here who does not have a bed and we also have green team. So I'm gonna pot up right here. Um, I don't know if this guy has anything he can knock me off with. I think I'm fine. I'm just gonna jump over you, smack you right into the void. There we go. <laughs> now we just have green team remaining, and I think they're trying to go for mid right now, but I'm not gonna let you have M's. I'm the only one allowed to have M's here. Gotta be a little careful because my pots are running out. Oh, they're bridging all the way over here. Yo, green, where are you going right now? I'm just gonna slap you around a little bit, knock you into the void. Um, let me see what green has under their bed defense before I go for them. Okay, they don't have obby. 
that's good. Let's go ahead, drink our potions once more. I'm also gonna pre-gap, so I'm at full HP. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that bridge egg over there so I have a little more room to fight this person, and you are dead. Go ahead, try to get that bed. Uh, let me see if I can fight them one more time before I break their bed, just because I wanna have a, I wanna have a little bit of fun here. You think I can fist kill this person? Um, they do have enchants, so I think it will be like a little bit harder for me to do, but let me see if I can actually like maybe try to, ooh, ooh, get that combo, get that combo. Okay, uh, I'm being way too risky right now. Oh, uh, don't kill me, don't kill me! I'm just gonna break their bed, it's not worth it. My potions ran out anyways, but that's completely fine. Let's go ahead and try to take them out now. Get that crit, and there we go, that is game, GG. That was a good second game using the fake G502. So before I end the video, I do want to give some final thoughts comparing the real and fake Logitech G502. Overall, the fake version is pretty much what you'd expect, a worse version of the original. That being said, it wasn't that much worse to the point that it was unusable, and I actually played pretty similarly on both mice. My biggest problem with the fake Logitech G502 was that tracking on it did feel pretty stuttery due to its pulling rate, but besides that, it was still pretty accurate. Would I recommend the fake Logitech G502? Probably not, because there's still better budget gaming mice that exist, like the Razer Viper Mini for example, which is also $20, but it still was fun to use and try out nonetheless. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you want to help support me, you can consider purchasing my Lunar Client cosmetics in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out!